Yeah, see, that's it, guys. Reach having a. Oh, my, my. There's something in my liberty. Listen to perfect music in heaven. This is it. Finally, ski for the Matrix and reach heaven. So yeah, you gotta go through hell if you want to reach heaven, guys. So all those people who want this, you just uh, gotta get out and do it. You gotta push yourself. You just gotta apply yourself. You just gotta just do it. Because other people these days they just uh, they stay in bed and take social media all the time, and you know. But there's nothing to it just to do it. People make out it's too hard, but you just. I mean, yeah, it took years to get here, but I've had different paradises along the way. You know, I've not just like been through hell like non-stop every single time. You got hell, you got ups and downs, you got heaven every now and then. So yeah, you just gotta do it. You just gotta get up and just live. Just live, guys. Um, all this bullshit online is nonsense. I've just finished training and doing using the log as an outdoor training and really cool music here. They listen to like this is a lot of my, like, 90s music here in um, Brazil, which is really cool. The verb and that kind of stuff. Rock and roll music, really cool music. So cool to hear good music. But yeah, so uh, so yeah, just, just, just he had a log here, I've just been using work, using that as a, a workout. But yeah, the sun's finally out. I feel so good to give some vitamin D and the sun, nature. This is all we need, guys. Honestly, I'm saying, I'm not saying this. If you're watching this. And um, you are, you know, on your phone, like you wake up and you turn to your phone every single day. Um, it's, I do that, I do that. You know, the first thing I do is like, I grab my phone, I try my hardest to put it down, and it gets addictive. I'm not saying this, it's the most lethal drug. I've not done any, any, any other drugs, I've not done cocaine. I think I tried cocaine once or something in like uh, 10 years ago or something, but I probably didn't have But you know, it didn't really have an effect on me because, you know, I was too busy time. I was just. I well, probably did just for like uh, two days or something. But yeah, the, but social media and cell phones is the most lethal drug ever. I mean, seriously, you just see. Because I mean, other, you take other drugs, they don't give you like bad information or they don't make you depressed and you know, they don't stick with you for life. You can easily go over it. But the information you see and the. the, uh, the the the, um, the lack of humanity, you know, you just, the opinion of humanity just goes through the toilet. We just gotta do it. I mean, I've just. You see all these YouTubers saying, I'll oh, do this, do that, buy my product, buy this, buy that. But you see Hamza. Hamza is the only one who's deleted in Inst Instagram. And it's deleted his, um, he's deleted all forms of social media. And the eyes never lie. He's the only, like, guy on the internet that I see who's actually happy. You know, you see him and he has this vibrant energy about him. And that never lies. People lie all the time, he said. People say, oh, I've got, I've slept with hundreds of girls, slept with hundreds of girls, I'm really happy, I've lived the best life and all this kind of stuff. I mean, even Andrew Tate, even Andrew Tate, you know, he's got a lot of good information as well. And I do look up to him because he's a kid boxer and everything. And, you know, he's, um, you know, you have different inspirations, but also he has a uh, social media and stuff like that. Yeah, he, he was addicted to social media, he was on social media a lot, he's using that for uploading stuff. Uh, but he's probably changed now, he's probably a lot happier because he's, his Instagram got banned. And my Instagram got banned as well yesterday. I think if you mention Andrew Tate in any of your Instagram or any Facebook, you, my Facebook and my Instagram got banned yesterday. And like in December, look, December last year, I went a, a month ago out of social media and I was never more happier in years. I'm not just saying that, I'm not just saying, oh, you know, I'm a hippie, you know, this kind of stuff. Seriously, guys, I've never been more happier. And just today, I've never been more happier. I've just met a beautiful girl on the beach, a beautiful blonde girl. Um, and um, she's really nice, really. And I finally reached heaven, you know, after years and years of blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, ups and downs, being homeless, being in prison, if, if, uh, you know, for about a week. I'm, I'm not done it. No, don't, don't worry, I'm not done anything bad, you know, anything really bad, you know, but just. Um, but yeah, you have ups and downs. And that's the part of it. It's, it's got to be go through hell, because you've got to have a good story. At the end of the day, we're all going to face death. I mean, if you face death and you just think, oh, my, you know, my, you can't say your life is great if all you ever did was just have ups and you never had any downs. If you never had any, any hard trouble as a man. If you say, oh, you know, I've had a perfect life. I've been born in a rich man's and I have cake every day. I uh, have sex every day. I have, you know, no, that's, that's, that person will kill himself. You've got to have a story. You've got to have something to be proud of. A real struggle. You've got to have, you know, you want your life to be a movie, don't you? Um, you know, you, you gotta have ups and downs, you gotta push yourself, you know? If you don't push yourself, like, I've just been for a huge workout now, I push myself like every, every single day I go for a workout, I work out at least an hour a day, and I push my body. People say I work out 
too much, well not too much, but like I push myself and my body way too hard. You say you're obsessed, you push, people look at me and they're actually scared of me. When they're in the gym, they see me go, look, this guy's going, he's doing crazy stuff, you know. I'm the kind of guy where I do kickboxing in between sets, I'm that crazy guy. Um, but yeah, fuck it, you gotta be the crazy guy. You gotta be, be the obsessed guy. Because then you push yourself off the limitations. Do whatever makes you feel alive. It makes me feel alive. If I wake up and I just do, oh, I'm gonna do some kills, and I just do, I don't feel alive. You know, he doesn't push himself out of that shell. I've gotta do something, just kickboxing, something that makes me feel alive. And then, you know, just now I just approached a girl. I really approached a girl, I got a number, and, you know, we really got along. Obviously, they're really, not really cool people here, because it's quite charter. But I wouldn't have done that, I probably would have them off if I just was like, oh, you know, i just woken up, yeah, I've just done, you know, whatever, I haven't pushed myself. But you need to feel alive. And that makes sense, because girls wear, girls are the opposite of men. Girls wear makeup, men, um, you know, work out, you know, we push ourselves with limitations. We make the world better by pushing ourselves with limitations, breaking down borders, conquering lands. You know, um, women the opposite, the yin and the yang. And you want that. You'd, if you say, oh, I hate women, good. Good they hate women because you're not supposed to, you know, you're supposed to be the opposite of them. You, you know, the hate is good, hate is useful. Hate is the most useful thing ever. If you didn't have any hate or any anger in your life, you wouldn't push yourself. I'm grateful for all the hate, you know, women have given me because if I just respected women and loved women and everything, I'd probably be gay or I'd probably, you know, you know, it's like women, women want to be fucked. They want to be fucked, they want to be pounded, they, you know, no matter what, yeah, they want the flowers and sometimes, and they, they want the marriage and all this kind of stuff sometimes as well. But yeah, they want to be fucked, they want to, you know, you know, they want to be disrespected and fucked, you know, and you know, it's just useful. It's a, don't, nothing is as it seems. Don't take anything on, you know, Facebook. Look at the meaning behind the reason, behind the action, behind the words. That's, and that's what women do. They have a deeper meaning behind everything. So I love women for the hate they give me, you know? They make me angry, I'm like, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the anger, thank you for that. I need that, I need that to push me. You know, if I was just having sex all the time and women was loving me, you know, like uh, Justin Bieber or whatever, having sex enough, I'd probably end up, you know, with a uh, spilling my seed and, you know, and uh, you know all the time. And I don't want that, I don't want to be, that's the equivalent of like masturbating all the time and just masturbating every day. I wouldn't be proud of myself, I wouldn't feel alive. And now we're just attracted to a beautiful girl because, I feel alive, you know. I haven't, you know. I, uh, I, you know, I do semen retention. I just push myself. There's some, some training, swam in the sea. You know, I didn't feel, you know, I didn't have that low energy, that low. Look, I looked alive. I feel like, you know, like, like Hamza. Hamza, look, Hamza. He looks alive. He looks like a real human. He's one of the last real humans in this in this robotic day and age where people are robots, you know. And and that's what social media does as well. That's, there's tons of drugs coming from every direction in different forms. It would be uh, masturbate, you know, masturbate over me, you know, or, you know, girls want, you know, men to be soy boys or whatever, to give them everything, to give up their seed, to give up their energy. Or, you know, social media, it's all part of beating down the man. So you could be consumer and you can make, you know, make the few 1% look good and have all the, have all the girls, you know? Um, but I'm grateful for this hard. Because if it wasn't hard, you wouldn't push yourself. You wouldn't push yourself, you know. It, I mean, it's what I say. I haven't got, always got to be ready. Like, I just woke up this morning. I was like, oh, whatever. I'll just, I'll go outside, you know. It's, it's not really that sunny today. I'll just, I'll, I'll do my YouTube video tomorrow. Or I'll do my YouTube video myself tomorrow. I'll do a exercise fitness YouTube video tomorrow. I won't do anything today. I'll just do some kills or whatever. But then I actually got there and I got my body moving. And then I saw this beautiful girl, you know, and then... So yeah, I don't wake up and I don't wake up like, yeah, I'm alive, I'm perfect. I wake up and I'm fucking a zombie. I'm just like, oh, whatever. I, I have a cold shower to wake myself up a little bit and maybe just go for a walk and do some stretching. Take some time, you know? Take some time, you know? Um, you know, nobody wakes up. Nobody wakes up and is like, oh, I'm Bruce Lee, I'm perfect, I'm in perfect shape. I'm, you know, it's just, uh, no one's perfect, you know? You, I'm never perfect. It's all, uh, nothing's ever perfect, you know? So just... Just do, just do, and you learn along the way, and that learning process is the best, because you, and the girls don't want perfect, girls want human, you know, you're human, you know, and if you're perfect, you know, it girls make girls feel insecure and everything, so yeah. I'm gonna run now. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do a YouTube video, so this is just unplanned, but this is everything that's been on mind, it should be watched. All, all women and all people should watch this video, um, I think in my opinion, because people these days are just, you see, I've been there, I spent a month just, I was in my hotel room and just thought, okay, I spent a month just um, 
pretending like I'm back in England and eat pizza, watch Netflix and do what everybody else is doing and everybody else is making popular. And I felt physically sick. Like it took like, like it, it took like a few days to get over that sickness. I felt really sick, like a zombie. I didn't feel alive. And now I feel complete opposite. Um, you know, even no matter what I did, it had to do with detox and stuff like that. And just, but even then, just the city lifestyle. But I had to get away from that city because uh, it was just polluted. And, but yeah, so the number one thing you can do, guys, delete social media, delete Instagram, delete Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg said a quote that said, um, you know, what is good for the world isn't necessarily good for Facebook. And right there and then, you should just, that's it, you should burn it to the ground. And Joe Rogan said, that's it, burn it to the ground, it's over. Because we knew this from day one. We knew that it was, um, even back in 2007, we were like, me and my friends were like, ah, oh, yeah, it's good, but let's, let's not get addicted to it, you know, because we know, we, we, we were born in the, you know, the 80s and 90s, we would know what it's like to be a strong, healthy you know, guy and to be healthy and to live a fulfilling life, you know, live a fulfilling life and attract everything we want. Um, and Facebook and being addicted to a screen, like a, you know, we, we, you know, like playing computer games, you know, we know, we know it's a sickness. We know that it makes us feel sick. But people these days, they're raised into it as kids and they don't realize what it's like to be alive. They're not alive. This new generation, or whatever, it needs to just delete all social media or, you know, else it's just gonna bring the world to its le zombified level of, uh, you know, you have no idea what it's like to be fertile, to be fulfilled, to have a fulfilling sex life. They're all frustrated and miserable and you look on the line and they just want to blow the brains out. So please share this video to everybody because, you know, we need to, we need to fight back. This is, this is becoming sick. I had to, you know, it took years, it took a few years to uh, live an independent life to get to this lifestyle, to get to with healthy, fertile people and strong, you know, people. We go climbing mountains every day and obviously you get, you know, obviously not everyone's like, obviously you have Brazilians who are addicted to social media. We're all, you know, you've got to help them, but... But yeah, like my Instagram has been deleted and I never felt more happier because it felt like a job. It's like keeping up appearances. It's just so sick. You feel like, oh God, what is this person thinking about me? What does that person think about me? What does this girl think about me? Oh, when I have sex with this girl the next week, well, what about this, what about this? It's just constant stress all the time. Um, and girls, it's worse for girls because girls have this natural instinct of just, it's pathetic for girls. Pathetic girls these days, they just, all they care about is what people think. And that's the lowest form of life ever. And that's why Paraguayans, and they um, they look sick, a lot of them. Um, you see 16 year old girls in Paraguay who like are wearing t 10 coats of makeup have said, and they look sick. And I, I wanna, I don't want that. And people, if people say, oh, you hate us, you hate us, go back to your own country, go over to, you know, all this kind of shit. No, it's like, no, I'm trying to help you. I, I, I don't like seeing people kill themselves, you know? Um, obviously, a lot of people who are miserable and, uh, you know, at their level want to see them kill themselves, you know, so they try and delude them with lies. You know, I'm a care bear. <laughs> no, no, but I, I, I want the world to be better, you know, I want to people to have a fulfilling sex life, to people to be, you know, to not bring people, because uh, else, next generation, next 10 years, everyone's going to be staying inside and infertile and miserable, zombified, or su killing themselves, you know? The only ones that aren't going to kill themselves are the ones that, you know, the world's going to just be full of everybody who wants to kill themselves. And it's going to get worse, you know, there's going to be no f fulfilling sex life, there's going to be no straight males or anything, it's just going to get worse and worse. And it's all because of the hate and everything that social media has brought on, you know. And all this nonsense because it just makes you infertile. If you're on this, if you're laying in bed all the time and you have this radioactive waves, literally these radioactive waves off your phone, off your laptop, they kill your sperm and they kill your, your womb if you're a woman and they make you infertile. Um, that's why you see those teenage girls who look like the 14 and they have big breasts and everything, they're like aging twice as fast. Um, from the sedentary lifestyle and the bad diet and everything, the combination is the most sickest lifestyle ever. And I want people to be, I want the world to be real again. This is like, it's a slow death. An apocalypse would have been better, and a, and a meteor struck the earth, it would have been better because that would have been a quick, painless death. Well, this is like, this is like watching everyone around you and you and yourself and your whole family and just everyone dying the most painful death ever. And living the most, there's nothing worse. It, a quick death is much better than dying slow, watching people around you, watching beautiful people around you die slow. 
painful death and it influenced the whole world to, to die a slow painful death with them um, because of social media it is like that it's just um, so Instagram Snapchat everything girls do it just promise me if you're watching this delete Instagram for a day just for one day for one day see how you feel and for a week see how you feel go out and speak to people go out and do exercise watch what happens to your life within one week I promise you I promise you even if you just delete it and you, you know you don't have to do anything you know I, I don't I don't go out with it every day and train like Bruce Lee and you know like I used to I used to do when I was uh, 17 and 18 I was obsessed I had OCD and everything but yeah now I just realise I'm human I've got to take it step by step I've had injuries I've put muscle we all have injuries nothing's perfect I've uh, severed a nerve in my left leg. I used to be able to do kick, kicks non-stop and, you know, flying kicks and all, stretching kind of kicks. I was the most flexible guy in the world. But now, I, um, I've severed a nerve and I can't do those kicks, so... But yeah, you've got enough stress. I've got, like Bruce Lee said, a goal sometimes isn't meant to be achieved. It's something to serve at. You know, if you shoot among the stars... If, if you shoot to the moon, at least you'll be amongst the stars. Okay, what's the other... I've learned another famous quote. Well, recently, the... Um, really summed up. But yeah, please, please, if you're watching this, if you're a girl, number one, if you're a girl and you're watching this in your life, um, and you want a healthy, fulfilling life, you want all the best sex you can have, and you want the, um, the you know... Because everybody wants that at the end of the day. No bullshit, I'm not going to lie. Um, and you want um, a fulfilling life in every single way. You want all the money, you want all the happiness, you want to be here on the beach with your loved ones, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Delete Instagram, delete Snapchat, delete all that crap. Because I promise you, I promise you it's killing you. You have no idea how much it's killing you. And no one will ever tell you that because they want you to be at their level. They want you to consume it. It keeps them in business. It keeps Mark Zuckerberg in business. It keeps everyone. But it's time to fight up against it. It's gone way too sick. It's, um... I, I mean... If I wouldn't have been able to do this video probably two days ago because I didn't have any sun and I was addicted to uh, Insta I was on Instagram every day and you know I felt like that I felt like a zombified version of myself um, well a bit obviously I was breaking out of it I wasn't as bad as I was a month ago when I was uh, in the hotel room for like uh, but yeah so yeah I was like in the hotel room and I spent days on like Instagram and stuff like that just to catch up and all the stuff of uh, live like a, a lot of people are like a lot of Paraguayans are but you see their energy and they just look and feel sick uh, but yeah so please guys delete Instagram you know you'll be alive and you'll feel alive and you can approach anyone you want and uh, you won't be like the rest of people on Instagram who they're only on there just to bring people down to their level to their miserable poisonous level like all these people that I meet the best people I meet usually these these days are the ones that are born like in the 50s or the um, 40s or whatever they were born in like not the internet they don't know anything about the internet and they're alive they look alive and healthier than people who were like freaking 18 or whatever chuffing 18 and uh, you know 17 or whatever even even 14 like you see these, these girls in Paraguay bags underneath their eyes by the age of 16 but yeah please guys this this is the things that no one will ever tell you, and this probably will probably get deleted if Mark Zuckerberg and all that thing. They need you to be sick, they need you to age twice as fast, they need you to be miserable, to be hooked on drugs, to be to realise by the time you're 20 that, oh my god, I've wasted my life. I've wasted my whole life, you know, by social media and obeying the lies and um, the lifetime of lies and everything. Paraguay is like, you see these girls who just like live in like a shed with a with a child they don't want just because they had a one night stand because they follow the, only, the highlight of the life is because going out every Friday and Saturday night when this is here this is just right outside their border you know, all it takes is just to do it fuck everyone else because they don't care what they don't care anything about you nobody cares anything about you except for maybe your own mother but even if sometimes your own mother you just just do just do it okay guys I mean just get up and do it. There's nothing more exciting, more than fulfilling in life than just doing it. You'll feel so alive. First, when I did it, I was scared, but um, the energy and it, that fear was like an excitement. Like my blood. ten years ago, or something I started doing. I started going abroad and I started uh, working. For, uh, uh, got out of England, so you know that's it. I'm done with England. 
um, what it's turning into. And my body was alive. I listened to the Into the Wild soundtrack, and that was like my inspiration. And I realized it's not got to be perfect. It never was perfect. You know, it wasn't really good looking or anything. You know, nothing was perfect. It wasn't like a movie. Everyone thinks it's got to be perfect like a movie. No, it isn't. You just got to do it. And that makes you feel alive. Um, and, now, and then you finally reach heaven and earth. You probably will sooner or later. But yeah, like I said, it's not going to take years to reach heaven and earth. You will have ups and downs. You'll have downs where you feel like, oh my God, this is hard. I just want to comfort. I just want to be home in my bed. But then straight after that, you'll have a, a peak of heaven. You know, you'll have a heaven to see. Oh my God, why was I thinking that? You know, I'm in heaven. I love this life. I love pushing myself. I love living my own life and having my own story, having my own adventure, you know? And it makes me feel alive. And I've just had sex with the most beautiful girl ever because I was I, I was alive and had that energy, you know? Um, so yeah, you have ups and downs. Um, it's not going to be hell for years and years and years. But yeah, you have to go through hell to reach heaven. Um, just makes sense. You're not going to be giving... If you would give heaven, then that'd be no point. You'd have... That person would blow the brains out. Like I said, if you just had cake and sex and all that kind of stuff every day and you had every single day, and you, never, you wouldn't appreciate, be able to appreciate it because you wouldn't be your best self to, you know, you know, be alive. You wouldn't be alive. You'd probably be in bed all the time, addicted to social media and, and a dead zombie. You just gotta do it, guys. Just do it and live. Just live. Just um. So yeah, guys, delete social media, delete Instagram, Facebook. That's the way we've got to stand up to people. The way we've got to fight back against Mark Zuckerberg and all these spoiled people who don't deserve these millions and billions of dollars. I mean, yeah, I deserve. I deserve millions and billions of dollars. <laughs> because I, I know I've been through hell. There's times when I've, you know, for years and years in the end, I've been homeless. So, yeah, I'm surprised I'm still alive. I've almost died. People have almost killed me with machetes and guns and all this kind of stuff. But I'm saying you don't have to, you know, you probably, you don't have to go through that. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a too headstrong. I go through weird things. Obviously, you're a girl. You probably won't go through that. Um, so, yeah. It's like Tori Black. Tori Black is like the most sexiest girl you've ever seen. She hasn't lived, um, she's like the most sexiest girl I've ever seen. She hasn't lived um, a guarded life, a guarded spoiled life. She lived a life of getting raped and all this kind of stuff and being a prisoner and beaten and beat up. And, and I see, that's what's made her so strong. And it's just, I met a really beautiful Russian girl. She's the most beautiful girl and she's intelligent. She knew three languages. The Russian girl I mentioned in the other videos. And she's like, she's the most beautiful, like even think about now, she just makes me smile. Uh, she works like two, two part-time jobs now because she pushes herself through hell. She, that's a lot of Russian girls are like that. They've been through, through a half, harsh lifestyle. So if you're raised in sport lifestyle, just having fast food and Instagram every day, then you're not going to cheat, you know, just put it down. Put it down and, you know, stop it because that's making you sick, that fake comfort. And you're not going to achieve anything, but yeah. So you, you have to go through that. The pain and stuff is good. It, it pushes you out inside the limitations. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for the pain. I'm grateful for the hate every time I, you know, get it. Um, I wouldn't. Have, I don't think I w without it, I wouldn't have reached this paradise. I would have given up or something. So yeah, just do it, guys. Like Cocteau Black, she got raped. Something she was in a, she, she was like a prisoner in, in Miami, a big basement prisoner. She had a really uh, rough backstory, and now she's uh, she, she had all the sex she wants. She's lived filled, filled with fantasies. And uh, she's against all the uh, feminists and all these kind of girls that are like trying to bring her down. And because obviously, if you're a 10 out of 10 girl or you're a 10 out of 10 guy, you'll always have guys or girls trying to bring you down out of jealousy. The world is one of jealousy. It's not going to be easy, um, but that's what makes it the best. If it was easy, it wouldn't be worthwhile. It'd be easy. It would be pointless. So be grateful that it's hard. I mean, but it isn't hard. hard. Like I don't want to turn you off thinking, you, oh, you have to get up. You have to be perfect. You have to go work out. You have to be like stronger, like Bruce Lee or anything. No, you just. Just get up, just do it. Just just be stoic towards it. That way the pain, you wouldn't even notice the pain. Be stoic towards it. And then before you know it, you'll uh, have heavens on earth. But I'm still going, like, uh, it's, not, it's not, not ending now. Like, I'm not gonna like get up and just think, oh yeah, that's my life over, you know? I'm still going, I've still got hardships to do. And the last thing, so one day you can face death with a smile on your face. And uh, yeah, who knows what's on the other side? Probably heaven, probably paradise, you know, but, so yeah. But we, we need to do this, we need to, or else we need to make the world better. You're going to be, if you're going to be kids in this world, I don't want to in, in this world because of what it's becoming. So please, watching this, delete Instagram. We've got to rise up. We're all in this together. Guys, girls, we're all in this together. Guys, yeah, girls are sometimes frustrated because they want sex and some, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they want chocolate, sometimes they want to be alone. And obviously, you know, um, 
like a lot of people do, you know, but a lot of guys focus. So we just gotta focus, we just gotta do it. Don't, don't say focus, that puts too much stress on you. Just get up, just do it. Like, I wake up, like I said, I had to wake up and I don't feel like doing anything. I, but I just get up, have a shower, and then I finally get my body moving and, yeah. So tomorrow, and I keep saying, oh, I'll do something tomorrow, you know, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go for a walk on the beach and I'll go back and eat some pizza because um, the sun's not out and I woke up too late. But yeah. But then I got my body moving and yeah, so still broke myself through limitations. So yeah. So yeah, just do it, guys. Just do it. Delete Instagram and you'll feel like, you know, like I was, like I feel like I'm, you know, whenever, like when it, deleting my Instagram, people say, oh, I wish it was 2005 again. I wish it was 2007 again. It can be. It, it, it is, actually. It is. It, life is still the same. But you just got to delete all the things that have made life poisonous. Instagram, or if, it, if it's alcohol or anything like that. I deleted Instagram, like, uh, I, I went without a phone, for, like, all December, and it felt like I was back in 2005. I felt like I was, uh, you know, it felt like uh, I was young again. You know, it felt like I was a little kid again. And I just, yeah. So, yeah, guys, just delete Instagram, delete Facebook, Snapchat, all that nonsense. Rise up against them. This is the people who are trying to kill you. Uh, what was that quote by the devil? Yeah, the Antichrist, yeah. Like, I, Mark Zuckerberg might be, the, he's probably the Antichrist, because the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was making you believe that he didn't exist. You know, it's like you watch The Omen and you have the, uh, the guy who's like the Antichrist, he becomes president or something. And the same with Mark Zuckerberg. I'm, if there is an Antichrist and all that stuff exists, then a, Mark Zuckerberg is my number one choice for being the Antichrist because making it's okay to because if you were raised up as Hitler or something or if you raised up as like a, a new emperor or something and you know try to like if you were the new Hitler people would notice that people said no beat him down we're not going to have a new Hitler but if you raised up as like um, someone who's going to say oh I'm going to unite people with a, a social media application that's going to be make people addicted to a screen and I'm, every single day and it's subconsciously going to fry their brains and make them dumb and infertile you know obviously that's the subtext you, you wouldn't say that people would say oh yeah let's accept that guy he's going to push the world forward with this facebook thing no you would accept him you know and that's the way he does it that's the devil you know the uh, antichrist is smart not saying the devil because people love the devil people love uh, to think they're badass and love the devil you know that kind of stuff I'm not religious or anything, you know, I'm not open-minded to it, but I'm open-minded towards everything. So, yeah. Please, if watching this, all girls, delete Instagram, delete Facebook, delete Snapchat, can, and you'll promise you'll be healthy, fertile, sexy, like the Pam Randersons, the Marilyn Monroes, the Angelina Jolies, the libertine feminine, feminine libertines, you know, that made one of the most beautiful girls in the world that were sexually liberated and you know, promiscuous and, you know, we're healthy and fertile that all girls want to be, but all girls just try and bring down to the, you know, whenever they see a 10 out of 10. So we got to stop this, guys. we got to stop the world becoming so pathetic and so low. So delete Instagram, please, guys. Delete Snapchat, delete all that stuff. Try a day, try a week. Watch what happens. And uh, try forever, because... Uh, and I promise you, you'll live the most fulfilling, happy life and you won't regret it. And you'll be have a sexual, fill, fulfilling sex life, you'll have a fulfilling healthy life, mental life, travel the world and do everything. Guys, nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. It's so fun. We have some more down here. We have a... <laughs> have a... A little cute thing. It's so funny. So cute. So yeah, it should be easy. We have a... Uh... These are really funny. I wish you were here with each other. This is so funny. A little cute little cars for... That's amazing. I mean, if I was... You'd be so spoiled to have a kid and have... To be a kid and have that. I'd... I saw a video of um, a little kid who owns like all these Ferraris, little Ferraris and everything like his size and he takes his family on vacation. It's a really funny video. Yeah, we're in Niteroi right now, a really chill place. Like, one of the, I feel so relaxed. I'm not sure if it was the uh, second hand of weed smoke from a few weeks ago back in the city, but just here, just walking around and like, usually, you know, being young and full of testosterone, you usually feel like, oh, I have to pick up this girl, I have to see this girl. But here, the Brazilian girls are just so adorable. They're so cute. They're so cute, so funny. But here, like, um, 
Ask if we've got a Western Union here. Ah, they've got a Western Union. But yeah, here around Brazil, the, um, it's just so cute. It's so cute, so funny. The toddlers here and the animals here, just like the most cutest thing ever. It's so cute, so funny. But like, um, yeah, it's like I, I work out on the beach and the toddlers come up to me and just waddle up to me and go, hola, hola, and just look at me and always stare at me. They're just so cute because they've never seen a blonde guy before. It's the most cutest thing ever, but... Like, um... <laughs> Like, uh, women here, I don't find them really that sexy, um, at all. Like, they don't have, it's weird, they don't have that energy, that's what I'm saying. Um, they don't have that, uh, same kind of, I'm just going to pick up some money, but like, they don't have, like, like, Argentinians, they have this raw kind of sexual energy, like, I just, I think it's my same blood. You have to be the same type of blood, like, African, black guys here, I think, would love it, I think. They find them really sexy, I think. But here, I just don't, you never find any white guys here, especially in Niteroi, because, the thing is, they just aren't. If, it, if they're if after, you know, picking up girls and everything, this isn't the place because I just don't find them sexy at all. I just find, I find them cute and adorable. Like, I met a girl on uh, Bumble and she said, Oh, come to my place in Niteroi. They never do that in, uh, on Bumble. They never say, Come to my place. Oh, it's in the, you know, only Niteroi because they're just so hot, warm and they're so cozy here. Like, hey, I just feel so relaxed. Um, but yeah, they're just so cozy and so warm. Like, really homely. Good, good women to marry, you know, to, if you want someone to cook for you and stuff. But uh, just like not sexy at all. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm into bad girls, brats, that kind of thing, and that's what Argentinian girls are. A lot of them have daddy issues and uh, real bratty, you know, and school, you know, this uh, daddy issues and school girl issues, that kind of thing. And the same, the same Paraguay, there's a lot of them like that. But uh, that's what I like, you know, that's what sends me on, but you can't control what sends me on, you know, but well, you can, really, you can focus yourself, but. Yeah, it's just so cozy. Like I just feel so relaxed. Like usually when I'm out in any other city, I just feel oh, I see a nice girl. Like, oh, I'm going to approach her. I feel you know feel sexual attraction towards her. But here, I just feel so at ease, so relaxed, and just like approaching girls just doesn't. I don't know. I just kind of cozy and just at peace with myself. Probably because I know the truth about sex and life and all that kind of stuff now. And, you know, all this uh, porn stuff. But uh, yeah, I might get this feature champ, this uh, Harry Potter mug. That'll be good for you. But yeah, back in this uh, my favourite place, you know, in Niteroi, the geeky place of the swords on the side. Really cool place. Oh, more cool things around South America. I might buy that and uh, dress up as Captain America. Just get pictures. You have people um, on the beach and everywhere, like like in Santa Catarina, they had a uh, Superman and all these superheroes dressed up. So I might get a Thor costume and dress up and fuck myself up and uh, try and get money. It's a good way to get a few extra money if you wanted to. You know, it's, also, it's a good way to meet people as well. It's better than just staying in all day, you know. And going to parties, you can't speak to girls. You can't speak to, because um, it's just, I never understood why people go to parties to meet girls. It's just, everyone's just sheep doing that because parties, yeah, you meet hot girls, but you just can't talk to them at all. It's like, whoever came up with the idea of saying, oh, let's go out to a night out to meet some hot guy, girls or hot guys or whatever you're into, is absolutely retarded because you just can't speak to them at all. And you just, no, no. The last thing you ever want to do is, um, Shouting someone's ear, that's just gonna turn them off. Going, ah, hello, where are you from? Where are you from? Love this us, Freddo. That's really popular in uh, Argentina. Everywhere they have Freddo. That's a uh, Argentinians, all they do is eat sweets and sweets and sweets. Really big on the sweets. Uh, I think that's it's like, a, it's like Paraguay. Just finished my daily workout, daily training, and uh, it's quite charter, paradise on earth. We've got my favorite juice we've got carrots, tamarind. Ginger and lamao. I'm, I'm difficult to say in English now because I'm used to saying in Portuguese every single day. I go, oh, tamarindo, senhora, lamao, gengibre, por favor, por alaba. This is my magic drink. Usually have a turmeric here. I say a turmeric, I usually get a turmeric. So I've got a sand in my nails. Um, I'm not doing this, that's what I usually do. But yeah, this is my magic drink just to cleanse all the organs and feel alive. But yeah, I mix it up with uh, detox drinks every now and then. It's really beautiful. It's really refreshing. Really zingy, zangy. Good way to finish the day. So yeah, guys, I'm here in Brazil. I'm here in Brazil still. I've been around Brazil now for three, three years. Like, yeah, we don't tell anyone. So, yeah. But yeah, um, 
see, I'm just here now in my favourite place. Let's get some kubasu. Got my favourite juice, tamarindo, senora, lemon, gingerbread. It's great for the whole body, the liver, everything. Cleanse your whole body. Really refreshing. This is what I love about these places all around Brazil. All around Brazil, everywhere you go, you just find um, these juice bars. Everywhere you go, juice bars, juice bars, and you have like tamarind, uh, turmeric, all these kind of things that you never heard of before. These special Indian spices and everything. So yeah, this is what I love about Brazil. Uh, but this is my favourite one because it's the first time you, you, see, you have a vegan restaurant. This is my first vegan place. It's a quiet chart, a really peaceful. <laughs> it's cool, but a really peaceful. Way. Uh, but yeah, they have the wave here. And we have like a uh, surfing day. We have a surfing day here in Rio de Janeiro. Um, not, it's in kind of the outskirts of Rio de Janeiro. But yeah, we have um, a surfing day here, Sunday. Let's see, I watched this video. Yeah. Is this is why I escaped from Rio because I have nature, I have this, I have mountains, I have sea, I have sand, I have everything. Yeah, and that's what's real. Like, I mean, I stay every time I go back to um, Aston Sean or even the thought of going back to England just like makes me sick. I mean, I will like go back to England because I, I miss the food and I miss everything. I miss how chill people are. When I, when I see people here in in um, when when I see people here in. Um, Rio de Janeiro, who from England, I just talk and talk and talk because uh, you don't have a good conversation here. People here are very, um, I don't know, very loud in your face. Like, like the guys here, they're just like oh, really protective. Like, blah, 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 because there's lots of crime and stuff here. So I think it makes them really kind of protective and really uh, you know, loud in the face. You know, they'll, they'll fight you here. Like in Argentina, I I lived in Argentina for like a year around. Well around Argentina, you know, Rosario, Buenos Aires, and like, I was doing fighting there, I was doing like mutai training there, and Argentinians, well, they're, they're, like, they'll, they'll offend you, they'll, they won't like you because um, you've been foreign, a lot of them, especially people from Buenos Aires. Uh, so it's like, you know, wherever there's hot girls, the guys are absolute cunts. Um, it's like the saying, if you, you know, if you want to go, you know, if, you go, if you're going to go after honey, expect to get stung by bees. Um, so yeah, if you go to a place and you think, oh, the girls there are going to be really nice, they're really sexy, they're really nice. Yeah, they're going to be really sexy, but there's going to be a price to pay. There always is. Uh, either they might be deluded by social media, they might not have much out of outsiders, so they might yeah, be deluded. That's a lot like Paraguay, though, you think. A lot of them think they're the best because they never have any outsiders. So if they haircut, I need a haircut, you know, I've just I've just been living so peaceful here. It's like this seemed like my end game and I just kind of like escape from the matrix so I don't feel the need to cut my hair or shave or do anything, you know. Like people who go to work and do nine to five thing. I feel like I finally reached a place where I can retire. This is a great place to retire. There's not much adventure here. It's like a miniature Rio de Janeiro. Uh, Rio de Janeiro is much more intense, has a lot bigger mountains and um, a lot more beaches and everything. But this is like, this is still in Rio de Janeiro, but this is like the outskirts. This is like a miniature version, a peaceful version for people who are just sick of, you know, the Matrix. So they just want to come and escape for their life. And yeah, I can see myself living here forever because I can still have the beach and still have the mountains here. Like, yeah, this mountain here and climate. It's not like Pedro de Gavi or the epic mountains in, Rio, in the mainland states, but it's much more peaceful. It's so peaceful here. Like I've just been so, I've never been more peace in my entire life. Um, it's probably just because I'm comparing it to Rio de Janeiro. I'm, I'm used to Rio de Janeiro. I'm used to the dangers. I'm used to people shouting. People always like, follow, 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 oh, la, la, oh. Like they act like apes. They're not human. And like, so I think they're infected with toxoplasma, but here they have intelligence here. They're not infected. Um, if you check out my other video on toxoplasma, I speak about how 66% of Brazilians are infected with toxoplasma. That's what Joe Rogan says. Um, and it makes sense because they just they act like the walking dead in, in downtown city. It's like uh, zombies, but here it's really peaceful. It's heaven and earth, man. Uh, but yeah, I can just get a surfboard, climb mountains. And yeah, I feel it's like a miniature Rio de Janeiro. Um, yeah, I might retire here when I'm like 70 or something. Um, but I've got a lot of adventures to do. But yeah, uh, let me know if you want any, any videos or anything. Uh, I need to get some sun. There's not been sun. There's been like rain for about a week. And um, so yeah, so I need to get some sun tomorrow. Even though I've been outdoors every single day, it's been really overcast. We have about five days of rain. So yeah, this is my favorite restaurant ever. I'm gonna get come back here for some uh, vegan food. The vegan food is really beautiful. The vegan burgers, and you get ch chips and everything, which is delicious, but yeah. But yeah, um, 
but yeah, if you want to, you know, as like I said, if you want to, no place perfect. If you want to get go to a place where there's beautiful girls and everything. Ex expect to be stung by bees. I like Rio. I mean, Rio isn't the best place for girls. I'm here just for the adventure, you know, for nature. If I wake up and I have the sea, I can build a good portfolio. I can become a fitness trainer here online. So that's why I'm here a lot of the time as well. Like I can do videos, like stuff like this. And tomorrow I can get do more videos. It's sunny and uh, I love the beach and everything. I have an outdoor gym and I just feel alive. You know, go where you feel alive. But a lot of people are just seeing going where there's pussy, and you don't see everyone's doing that. You're not the only one that's doing that. 99% of people doing that. So you have to compete against 99% of people, guys. Um, like if you think you're the only g g guy to a girl, then you're wrong, especially. If it's hot in the social media day and age and it, it makes me sick because you just see everyone um, you just see everyone becoming robots you know like um, you, I, I go back to my son Sean and everyone's the same wearing the same watches wearing the same necklaces the same shirts just to try and get busted and it's like a big prison it's just like a big prison everyone doing the same thing doing, just trying to get oh, money money sex sex money money sex sex that's all they think about and it makes them dead robots there's no human this is why I like this because it's just have nature and I go climbing with people climbing the rocks with beautiful people and you know that's a fulfilling life and then after all that, if you build a good life, then girls will chase you, you know? You, well, they're not going to chase you, honestly, but they'll give you confidence, they'll give you a good lifestyle, you know, to um, get girls that you want. Because, I mean, sex is good. It's like it's like a piece of cake, though, sex. Every, every, every time I've had sex, this is a not Every time I've had sex, like traveling around the world and stuff like that, most of the time I regret it. Even whether it's been in um, Fortaleza, um, Fortaleza, or you know Peru, or wherever, you know, I've always think, oh, I wish I just spent some time alone. I wish I focused that energy on building the great, great, a great life for myself and a, a life that will attract all the girls that I want, and attract all the money I want. Because now I'm just attracted to money, and I mean, my mind's changing a lot because um, money equals freedom. It's not, it's not, oh, you love money. No, I don't love money. I love freedom. And money equals freedom. But yeah, um, I'm waffling now because I don't get to talk that much. Because I, keep, I, have to, I have to keep all inside and I have to train and focus. All, that's why all this anger and all this, this frustration, I usually just go out and train and just focus on. Because people talk and talk and talk, especially now, you know, they sit in cafes, just talk and talk and talk and bitch and bitch and bitch. And the life never goes anywhere. But like I said, I've you seen know, um, I once almost got into a fight with a guy and they just did nothing. They're all talk and talk and talk, really. Um, they just, do, you know, here, but here in Brazil, it's the opposite. You get into a fight here and they are going to fight you. They'll fight you to the death, they'll follow you. They'll even want to, especially a lot of people are homeless here because they will fight you just so they, just so you'll hurt them, just so you can, they can end up in hospital or have a bed for the night. Or, End, end up in prison. If your prison is better than being on the streets, a lot of them, and there's a lot of them are on the streets doing drugs. And many, like, so much people, so many people do that. Um, but yeah. So yeah, like, uh, if, you, if you want to go after honey, expect to get some babies. But yeah, I've never seen. I'm not attracted to girls here at all. Are you saying if you're not attracted to girls here, what are you doing here? If you're not like the girls here, it's like I don't follow sex. I'm not like the 99% of people who's just like. Oh, I, I'm going to do whatever I can to follow sex. I'm going to follow the Matrix. I'm going to do all this. Because it's just boring. It's just... You know, people wonder why people kill themselves. I mean, why are they kill themselves? Because they're doing the exact same thing that everybody else is doing for sex. And it's just like... Your life has no meaning, no individuality. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I want my life to be... Not like... Yeah, it's spectacular, you know, you know like just worthwhile. And a lot of people are just like following the same rules on their social media, on the phone, 99% of the day. And the girls are killing themselves. There's no real girls this day and age because they're all on the phones, like, and that's just made them infertile. So, like, even now, like, I'm on the phone, I can feel the radiation coming to my eyes. If I go home now and uh, if I go to some hotel room now and just spend all my time on the phone, uh, you know, compared to a night where I would spend, you know, just like maybe one hour screen time and then put my phone away. And my face, my eyes and everything just feels fresh, you know, but you spend all day on your phone, you can feel it in your eyes. And if you can feel it, that's happened to you, that's happened to your, um, to your, to your health. And you know, people don't realise it's frying your brain, it's frying your eyes. Honestly, it is. I, I, I know it sounds stupid, but it is. I and mean, all these girls are infertile. You see these girls with the brains and their eyes are just fucked up because screwed, you know, and not in a good way. And they're just like, um, you see their eyes, like even in Sasha, they just look uh, miserable. They look like they want to blow the brains out. The eyes are the only thing they never lie. So just look at these girls online and you just see how they just like, want to blow their brains out. 
And that's because of social media, what social media's done, and just eyes glued to a screen to make their age twice as fast and spend 99% of their waking day on the phone so they don't have any time to be strong, free, healthy, and beautiful and fertile. Because anything you want, if you want to be healthy or beautiful, it's going to require you go doing something, getting up out of bed, doing something, you know, pushing yourself a bit. I've just been for a workout and I've pushed myself and um, I feel great, I feel amazing, but you know, we need something to, I need a, to make money off it, you know, something, that's why I'm here, you know, because I have the nature, I have everything, because even if I did that in Paraguay or wherever, or Argentina or wherever, I would still feel sick because I still feel the same rat race and my life would add no meaning at all just on the same thing for sex like 99% of people do the same games the same psychology games and it's just sick and when I see these guys do the same psychology games like they get really protective like they cover the girlfriend like they physically do around here because they're very poor they don't have um, options around the world you know they haven't pushed themselves I only, I only have options around the world because I've worked out I went to teach English in Saudi Arabia you know I didn't, I didn't want to teach English in Saudi Arabia for a few months it was hell on it hell on earth yeah, I was homeless. So when I sacrificed, I sold every everything I've ever owned. I sold my computer, I sold all my bookshelves, I sold all my clothes. I had nothing in my apartment. I sold my TV. I sold everything, everything that I owned. I sold, and I have nothing now of my, of my past life. Um, and that was just to get a ferry to my first job in Holland. You know, just so I could. Um, when I was training, kickboxing every day, and I was pushing myself, and uh, you know, I was just looking for freedom. Uh, you know, I remember watching Django Unchained and that changed my life. I wanted uh, freedom. That song, I still listen to that song about freedom, but yeah. But yeah, and it's just, these girls these days, they're just so spoiled. And you like, and you just, if you're going to stay like that and get everything you want by laying in bed, you, you're you never going to have an orgasm, you're never going to achieve anything, and a worthwhile orgasm by anyone. And you're never going to, you know, become beautiful and sexy and flow and, you know, be beautiful, be naturally beautiful, you know, and like you see these models and all these girls, see all these models online, those models and all those professional models or whatever, they took a lot of, not the ones that did nothing, they, you know, they, they got up and they did stuff, they uh, pushed themselves through limitations. You know, that's why you see a lot of Russian girls, every Russian girl you see is either really super hot, like a 10 out of 10, or is a 1 out of 10. You know, because they, their natural lifestyle, you speak, to, they're so cool to talk to Russians, you can just get along with them and they will, you know, they're so liberated, they're not nervous, they're not like, oh, I can't say this, I can't say that, I can't speak to this guy, I can't do that, because he's not my type, he's not he's not my race or whatever. That's what you find a lot of girls, you know, where Instagram has done and social media has made them in this prison all the time, of uh, got to stay, you know, not liberated at all. And, and honestly, if you're not liberated, you're not going to fulfill, have a fulfilling life. Everything worthwhile takes pushing through limitations everything so girls sort yourself out because it's just it's getting ridiculous now how um you know you see these girls online who are just like ugly and just like demanding all this stuff and like you know you see these hot russian girls who are like really hot and sexy who work nine to five jobs who you know they were just so sexy in every single way, and like, and they like this girl. I know who's like she works a nine to five job. She's Russian, and she knows three languages, and she's only eighteen. She knows Spanish, Portuguese, English, and French or whatever. And she's just, like, I'm like, wow, blows mind. Like you, every single Russian girl like that, I've got along with, and that's because they have this genetics to push themselves. They push themselves with lifestyle. Even the guys, they push themselves. They're really strong fighters and everything. So yeah, and a lot of girls like that. So yeah. And I, I, know, I know they get, see these models, these uh, Russian super, and they like supermodels, a lot of them, the Russians. Um, and they're really cool to talk to, you talk to them, and they're so cool. I never had a bad experience with them. It's like the same as Colombians. Colombians are really dominant, really adventurous, really go out and get it. Get it, and the, um, that's what makes them so cool. But anyways, that's my thoughts on today, my waffle for today. So yeah, see you again, guys. And like, subscribe for more adventures around the world, uh, around Brazil. If you have any questions about my travels around the world, I've traveled around the world for 10 years, so if you have any questions, it's just... Uh, just let me know. Okay, yeah, my, my mind surf here forever. Yeah, this is my number one place in all the world to retire. Because Petropolis is not all that it's good to retire, it gets peaceful, but here you actually have a beach. This is like Petropolis with a beach. So yeah, check out my other videos guys. If you have any questions, just uh let me know. Yeah, just over there, it's just very good. Um jet skiing out. And they have a, a boat, like a pirate boat as well, in the uh, lagoon, just over there. Yeah.